anxiety and panic can bring about some crazy and frightening symptoms and reactions. But it was the ones that happened during the night, in times I was trying to get at least a little bit of rest, that really really freaked me out. They were just so uncontrollable, there was no conscious buildup of stress, nothing that would have at least slightly prepared me for what was going to happen. In those nights I would jump up in bed and be confronted with all kinds of terrifying symptoms at pretty much the peak of their intensity. Those nocturnal panic attacks of course had me convinced that something had to be wrong with me, that something serious is happening or is going to happen. My heart would be pounding hard, I could feel every beat in my ears, my stomach and even my fingertips. My chest was tight, I gasped for air, I had difficulties talking or orientating myself. At least that's what it felt like. For anyone dealing with panic attacks and anxiety disorders, you understand very well how scary and devastating the physical symptoms can be, especially when they come out of seemingly nowhere. And these nocturnal panic attacks, oh man do they feel like they hit you in the face when you're completely blindsided. I had no idea when and why they happened and at the time I even had no idea what they were. And you guys know that I always believe that really understanding anxiety and the things happening to you is the foundation to even start recovering. Only when you can start accepting that anxiety is a possibility for the things you are experiencing, only then you stand a chance to truly recover by losing that fear from the symptoms altogether. So generally said, a nocturnal panic attack is nothing else than a regular panic attack. The major difference is that there is no conscious buildup of the actual attack which doesn't mean there is no buildup at all. Nocturnal panic attacks normally occur when we go to bed highly stressed and anxious. Our stress levels are extremely elevated and possibly even close to a panic, but somehow we still manage to fall asleep in this state. And don't forget, you don't always have to consciously feel stressed to be stressed. We with anxiety disorders are so used to extremely high stress levels that it can feel sort of normal to be stressed. So while we are sleeping, our mind is actually still very very active and can even trigger further stress. Because this is happening subconsciously and with us sleeping through this event, we cannot consciously fight this process and those triggering thoughts. We are pretty much at the mercy of whatever our body wants to do. And in this case, it wants to prepare itself for action to fight or flee from something it perceives as dangerous. What you could manage and keep at bay in the time you were awake now has the possibility to spread until you reach an overwhelm point. Because you went to bed with high stress levels, it does not need a lot of additional stress to trigger a panic attack. That is the moment we jump up and realize what is happening to us and our bodies. Our mind is trying to grasp and process what is happening. The symptoms in their most extreme form are just there with nothing to even remotely justify them. So in our drowsy state, we will tend to misinterpret them. Our self-calm process in which we explain everything to ourselves and try to talk us down from a panic doesn't really work during these nocturnal panic attacks. That is the worst part of them. They are just so overwhelming. During these nighttime panic attacks, I myself was almost certain I was having a heart attack or stroke. All the symptoms just seemed to match the profile for either one of them. Those terrifying thoughts really kept the anxiety coming and from that moment on I would often jump in and out of panic attacks for the whole night, completely unable to sleep. Which in itself created further anxiety and symptoms that occurred during the day and I then carried into the night and so on and so on. It was a terrible cycle that would get worse over time. So if you're dealing with nocturnal panic attacks, your recovery approach will be pretty much the same as recovering from an anxiety disorder altogether. You must start working on breaking this vicious cycle. When it comes to recovery, you need to imagine it as lowering your day-to-day -day general stress levels. Those are your baseline levels. The lower they are, the more tolerance you have for stress spikes without them triggering panic attacks. That's the basic idea behind it. So check out this playlist for more info on what I believe is the best approach for recovery. There are, however, a few habits and things that you can do to prepare you for a better night's sleep and lowering the chances of a panic attack during the night. My favorite one is going for a 30 minute to an hour walk outdoors, around 3 hours before your regular bedtime. Especially after sitting the whole day in the office and building up all the tension and stress, a nice walk at a decent pace can be just the right outlet to release some of the tension. Keeping a journal is something that can help get rid of some built up emotion. Write down everything you worry about in your journal. Sometimes just clearly expressing your confusing thoughts and organizing them 
is enough to see things clearer. Keeping your bed clean, chamomile tea before bed, stretch, a guided breathing session, and so many more things you can and should implement into your bedtime routine. There's a more detailed list of the things you can do to slowly ease your way into a panic-free sleep in the description box below. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you're new here and want to see more anxiety-related content just like this one, consider subscribing.